dear students in this video i will explain the solution to this problem so first read the problem the impeller of a centrifugal pump has an external diameter of 450 mm and internal diameter of 200 mm and it runs at 1440 rpm assuming a constant radial flow through the impeller at 2.5 meter per second and that the vanes at the exit are set back at an angle of 25 degrees determine inlet vane angle the angle absolute velocity of water at exit makes with the tangent <coughs> and the work done per newton of water so these three things we have to find so first understand whatever it is given there so external diameter of the impeller is 450 mm internal diameter is 200 mm speed is 1440 rota uh, rotations per minute and uh, constant here they assumed it is the radial flow that means directly they are saying um, the vf velocity of flow at the inlet and also at the outlet is radial flow uh, so that is 2.5 meter per second so the, it is uh, the veins are uh, uh, backward backward angles so the veins are set backward at an angle of 25 degrees so the veins are backward the velocity triangle will, looks like this so for forward vein angle it will be different so for backward vein angles uh, u2 will be maximum means it will be uh, greater than vw2 so uh, its angle is 25 degrees that means uh, phi phi is 25 degrees it is given in the problem so we have to find out inlet vane angle inlet vane angle means theta you have to find and then the angle of absolute velocity of water at exit with uh, makes with the tangent means <coughs> So this is the V2 is parallel to the tangent to the impeller. So this is the V2 absolute velocity component. So you have to find D here. Then work done per Newton of water. So how to find those? Uh, so as I told, <coughs> if you draw velocity triangles for the backward for uh, where angles, you like this. So generally the well velocity at the inlet will be zero for uh, centrifugal pumps if they haven't mentioned anything in the problem you assume that well velocity at the inlet will be zero they said the flow is radial at the inlet the flow is radial at the inlet so automatically vw1 is zero and also if nothing is mentioned about uh, particularly about this you take vw1 as zero so here in this case v1 is equal to vf1 right so the alpha the absolute velocity makes with the tangent will be it is 90 degrees so vw1 is zero and uh, <coughs> drawing of velocity triangles so first we have to draw the vr1 component so after drawing the component vr1 component so this is the rotation so u1 will be tangential to the uh, uh, so u1 is, will be parallel to the tangential tangent to the runner so the direction of u will be in the same direction of the rotation so u1 and then this will be the v1 component okay so then v2 because it is backward wave angle so uh, vr2 will be like this so u2 component will be greater than vw2 so then we will go far behind than this point then if you connect these two you will get this v w v2 component the perpendicular component of v2 is vf2 that is the vertical component normal to the tangent and the horizontal component will be vw2 so this is how you can draw the velocity triangles uh, for the backward angle so now how to solve this problem so just, just i will explain the solution so that i can Will take uh, less time so how to find the inlet vane angle from the given data so you we have these data d2 is given 
d1 is given d1 is given then speed vf1 is equal to vf2 that is v1 is given phi is given so first we have to find inlet weight angles inlet weight angle so from the given data we can get this first see this velocity triangle we have to find this theta value so v1 is known v1 is equal to vf1 it is known that is 2.5 meter per second so from this velocity angle if you know u1 or vr1 we can calculate this theta value so uh, vr1 we cannot find here from this data so but u1 can be find out u1 is equal to pi d1 n by 60 pi d1 n by 60 so in impulse the flow will be radially outward uh, outward direction that is radially outward flow so uh, d1 will be the internal diameter that is 200 mm will be the internal diameter of the impeller that is a one inlet point so pi d1 n by 60 so you can get this u1 the velocity at the inlet then once you got this value so tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to v1 by u1 or vf1 by u1 tan theta equal to vf1 by u1 so vf1 is given this value just calculated so then theta will be tan inverse of this right so you just check these values with your calculator whether these are correct or not then second question the angle absolute velocity of water at exit makes with the tangent that is beta okay so from the velocity triangles so beta you have to find so here again if you want to find these beta value you have to know these components vf2 uh, v2 these components we need so how can we find already vf2 is known vf2 value is known uh, vf1 is equal to vf2 <coughs> Because here it is said assuming constant radial flow through the impeller means inlet and outlet velocities means VF1 VF2 will be constant from this statement you can say these are 2.5 meter per second so if we want to calculate this beta so how can we do uh, check here this is given I it is 25 degrees uh, u2 can be calculated u2 can be calculated so u2 will be pi d2 n by 60 u2 can be calculated so this value is known this value is known then if you know this vw2 okay tan beta vf2 by vw2 so then can be beta can be calculated so now u2 is known from here if you know this vr2 value you can get this component okay so vr1 is equal to for smoother veins vr1 is equal to vr1 is equal to vr2 for smooth veins so vr1 can be calculated from the inlet velocity triangle so it is the resultant of v1 and u1 so you can calculate vr1 so vr1 is equal to vr2 this component will come so then vr2 cos phi will be this component this can be calculated u2 minus this component will give you vw2 so once if you know this VW2 and VF2, beta can be calculated. So this is the processor. I think you need to follow here. Yes, first they have found, found this U2, pi to n by 60. First step, this is calculated. Then from velocity triangle at the outlet, VW2 will be U2 minus VF2 by tan phi. Yeah, uh, VW2 component is comp uh, calculated vf2 by tan phi what is this vf2 by tan phi vf2 by tan phi is vr1 only um, yeah vf2 by tan phi will be this component this component then vw2 so this is calculated so tan beta so now it is five degrees beta is five degrees then the work done per newton of water <coughs> so work done per newton of water so work done formula for this uh, centrifugal pump will be rho q into 
vw2 u2 this is work done work done per second so work done per newton of water so work done per unit weight of water heating per second so it will be newton will be rho q vw2 u2 divided by so specific weight of the water into discharge so w will be rho g so this will be vw2 u2 by g is a, uh, a work done per newton of water heating okay or the uh, work done by the impeller per newton of water either way so the same formula here vw2 u2 by g vw2 is calculated u2 is known it is also calculated g is acceleration due to gravity so work done per second is uh, per newton of water will be 98.81 newton meter per meter of per newton per newton of water okay so this is how we can solve this problem so first thing is understand the problem what the data is given first get those and remember this backward way angle for this you can draw the velocity triangle like this and simply by following the velocity triangles and the uh, no things you were there is a peripheral velocity formula you can able to solve this problem thank you